<laughs> How cool is that? Check it out. Nice. Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video, holy cow, vlog number 17. And uh, man, I made it to 17. I know it's been a while. I know I'm not in my car driving to work, but I just have a bunch of things I want to talk to you guys about uh, this time around. I want to go around the shop, get behind the camera and show you what's going on and just give you a couple of updates of what's doing here. And uh, But before we get going, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Uh, so get notified every time we put out a new video. And of course, for the price of a cup of coffee, there's a PayPal donation link in the description below where you can hit that and uh, throw us a couple bucks to keep this content going and keep it all alive. And yeah, 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 you know the drill. So um, big shout out to my dad. Today is uh, November 22nd. Big shout out to my dad and my mother. Happy birthday, guys. They are, uh, my dad turns the big 7-0 today, guys. Oh my God. I can't believe it. You know, uh, my dad had, has five kids and uh, got married when he was around 16, 17 years old. He was a grandpa at 40. So uh, hats off to my dad. I love him very much. And uh, he turns the big 7-0. I will not say my mother's age. I know she won't like that. But uh, how amazing they have the same birthday. You know, uh, pretty, pretty cool. But uh, i got a few things I want to talk to you about. I'm going to get behind the camera and um, let's get to it. Hey guys, before we get going, remember Volks America Magazine, Killer VW Magazine, and if you get the latest issue, uh, they got a nice little article on uh, yours truly, uh, Classic VW Bugs. I think I showed this once before, maybe about a month back, but uh, here we are guys. Check it out. Get this latest issue of us. Nice spread they did on us. Great magazine, great quality, and uh, yeah, you can't beat it. They also have Volks Mania Magazine, which is free. So I'll take a look at that online, Volks America Magazine. So the big question I've been getting lately, remember my good old Quick Roof. Uh, made a video years ago on Quick Roof when I was still out of the one car garage, which is so, so funny how long ago that is. And uh, from time to time we still get um, questions on Quick Roof. Can I use it? Where do I use it? Is there a smell? Yada yada. Can I still get it at Home Depot? Home Depot does not have it as Quick Roof anymore, it's something else. And the material's a little bit um, mushy, which I didn't care for. Um, but you can get this peel and seal uh, from Lowe's, and it's the same thing as Quick Roof, and it's the same company, actually. So let's take a look here. Peel and seal aluminum, and that company is Cofair. Yep, so you can get this about 16 bucks a roll, and I basically buy about four or five rolls to uh, put into our Volkswagen. Now the question I've been getting, so we're going to come over to uh, Lori's car over here. Here's a 62. Oh guys, before we get there, check this out. I thought this was hilarious. A uh, cool guy who's been working with us from the uh, past couple of weeks, his name is Steve, and he made this lamp out of a VW hubcap, a VW manifold, carburetor, air cleaner. I mean, look at the little spark plug up here, how cool. But like, check this out. I mean, just move the arm and, ah, uh, it's, it's, that's awesome. So. Be on the lookout for that. <laughs> so, but um, here's Lori's uh, 62 build -a bug project that we are working on. This car is going out to California. Original car, numbers matching top to bottom. We're actually building the motor right now uh, to go into the car. My main man, Rams, is uh, getting on this motor and uh, new pistons and cylinders, all new bearings and such, powder coated tins. But uh, getting back to quick roof. So, like always, people ask me, can I put the quick roof in the roof? Can I put it in the engine compartment back here? Uh, guys, I just don't do that. Um, my engine compartment has my tar boards. That's it. I have the stock look. Um, that is, uh, it gets hot back here. So I've never tested quick roof in the engine compartment. Um, so I, I don't put it there. I think, the, you know, we put the quick roof in the back on the luggage area, and that is fine. That will deaden your sound. Putting it on the opposite side in the engine compartment, I don't think will um, be any better. So why not keep it in here where it's cool and nothing's going to, quote unquote, say malfunction with uh, the material. I also do not put it in the roof. Guys have asked me about putting the quick roof in 
my roof. I do not put it in the roof. I use this jute pad material to pad my roof, and that quiets uh, the ride as well. It gets rid of that tinny sound. So when you knock on the roof, it's a nice, a nice knock. It's not tinny at all. I know they sell Dynamat, and they do you know, shows I've seen put Dynamat in the roof, but I use jute material. So the only place I really put the quick roof is in the doors, door panels, and luggage compartment. You want to put it on the floor pans, go right ahead. You want to go put it in the front firewall section, go right ahead. But this is where I put my quick roof. I do not put it upside down, and I do not put it in my engine compartment. So I've also gotten a question about the state of the market as of right now. Chris, when is the best time to buy a Beetle or buy a Classic? Is it seasonal? Is it, uh, is it all the same throughout the year? Do they go up? Do they go down? And I will say that, yeah, there are... Uh, seasonal trends, of course. Um, many people up here in New York will say, oh, well, it's winter time and you know, now's the time to, to sell or now's the time to buy or you know, people aren't looking to buy in the winter or whatever the case may be. But um, that's kind of old school methodology. I mean, we are in the internet age today and we have people that shipping cars more than ever across state lines down to warmer climates. So I do, I do not know if the winter is a, a factor. It might be here in the Northeast. Uh, in, the, in the northern parts of the United States or whatever country you guys are in, whatever seasonal changes have been happening, uh, there might be an effect there. I think the big effect is, yes, holiday time. I think that's the big distraction. Once September comes around and school starts in most, for most of the country, um, people's minds shift off of getting a classic car, uh, especially then getting towards the holidays. Even though when I first started in this business on eBay, uh, I did get some upsell uh, during the holiday times. People were actually buying a classic car for their loved one. So, uh, you know, that, uh, that, that's always a factor. But I, did, I do notice fall time and then getting into the beginning of winter, you might see a little bit of a dip. But now is the time to buy. Uh, I get a lot of guys now that are looking to store their cars into storage facilities or they're looking to sell and they do, they do not want to carry the car through the winter. So if you are looking for a Beetle, I would suggest... Start looking now. When we, we're in November, we're going to be in December very soon. Uh, you could probably pick up a car pretty inexpensive, or at least a reduction in price, uh, and, a, and a decent one uh, for that matter. But, um, you know, there's always going to be guys out there that are higher priced, but uh, now is the time to try to buy something um, around this time. But then I notice around once January hits and the holidays are over, things start to slowly turn back the other way. The auctions start up in January, the big auctions in Scottsdale. So things start to turn around. So you have this little, you have this small window, I would say from, you know, maybe mid to end of August to say uh, December time, the end of December holiday time where there's a dip in pricing where people are trying to unload before the winter comes. But then uh, it starts to go back up again because springtime is around the corner and people are looking for something to drive in the spring. So if you are looking for a Beetle or looking for a classic car, maybe now is the time to buy. I know it sound, might sound kind of daunting because you've got to buy gifts for your loved one for the holidays, uh, but you know, it might be the time uh, to buy a vehicle. And so the last thing I want to talk about is media blasting. We had this question again, and I've been, uh, this past month we've, we media blasted three Beetles. So we've done a lot of blasting going on, and uh, we've had a lot of projects come in and out that are coming back from paint and then going out to blast. And then they got to be, of course, sealed once they're blasted. And uh, there's one car in particular we're doing for a client that I, I'll, I'll show some pictures up on the screen here. And then once we blasted this car, from the get-go, the car looked like it had a prior restoration. And it looked like it was a pretty solid straight car. And then once we media blasted it, oh my God, did that open up the doors uh, of, to Pandora's box. And if you look at the pictures here and look at the videos that I'm showing you, you see that this car was patched all over the place, uh, most likely a backyard job at one point. And that's scary, you know, to see that sort of thing. And then you got to start thinking to yourself, okay, I bought this car. I thought it was real solid. Now I media blasted it. Now what do you do? Do you go ahead with it and go ahead with the restoration, uh, knowing now that it's going to cost way, way more? Or do you sell that car, cut your losses, get whatever you can for it, take that money and throw it into a newer car or not a newer car, a newer buy? Uh, maybe something around the similar year that you want and then you know you just got to kind of bite your lip and cut your losses so to speak uh, because if you go along with that existing restoration it probably cost you far more uh, than it would be to say sell that get whatever you can for it 
and then finding a project that is, uh, of course, you know, more solid. You would hope maybe it had uh, it has good bones to it. Maybe it came from a dry climate uh, and is not all full of bondo. Um, you know, a lot of times we, you find these things and it's it's unforeseen. You don't know what it's going to be until you actually media blast. Uh, that's why we do that sort of thing here in shop here at, at Classic VW Bugs. You know, we have to be transparent with our clients and uh, show what's lying underneath. Because uh, many times uh, you just don't know. It might look great from the outside, you know. So be on the lookout for that. You know, I have plenty of videos on what to look out for before buying a bug. But until you really uh, start poking around and, and, you know, media blast your vehicle, you really won't know until the end uh, when it's all blasted and you see, oh my God, what did I get into? Uh, but don't feel bad because you're not the only one. There's so many people that I get across the globe that have come across this scenario where they thought they had a gem and uh, they thought they saved a few bucks on it. And when it came time to uh, see what was really lying underneath, now all of a sudden they bro they're breaking their bank and uh, it's time to move on and maybe get something else. You might have a rare car. Uh, you know, and it's, it's, it's something to, you have to really think about because, uh, you know, these, these projects can escalate in price beyond your control sometimes. And uh, you really got to think about your budget and really think about, you know, what is the next step. So, uh, but yeah, I try to be uh, upfront with my clients and tell them, look, this is what you're facing. I know when you first brought us the car, it looked like this and this, and it's probably going to cost you about this and this. But until we blast, we just don't know. So, all right, guys, uh, that's that vlog for today. Holy cow, vlog number 17 in the bag. And uh, sorry I'm not in my car. I just wanted to go around the shop and show you what's going on with uh, our, our projects and uh, just talk, um, I guess, uh, kind of live in a way, right? Uh, but uh, if you have any questions, chris at classicvwbugs.com. Of course, you can leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, and be sure to like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I will see you next time. If I don't see you next week, next week is Thanksgiving. Uh, I might take the week off, or as far as video is concerned. Um, so I'll see you the week after, but I'll think about it. All right, take care. Mm-hmm. <laughs>